Working with my client to transform their office from cramped to futuristic was a juicy technical challenge. To make sure there's no misunderstanding, I am not musical. I think we just need a little music. Shake brings all the boys to the bar, and my life is better than yours. Now that you know I'm not going anywhere near that keyboard, I'll tell you about my client's request. He wanted to get rid of the low built-in sewing station from the previous homeowner in favor of an ergonomic standing desk. The desk needed to include a shelf to support speakers and an ultra-wide monitor up to 48 inches wide. I had no idea they came that big. And the most exciting part was that he wanted a slim pull-out tray to support the Arturia Astrolab keyboard. During the design phase, his affinity for Star Trek landed us on concept number eight for a totally unique shape. And we went all in on red to create a cohesive theme. Many thanks to FlexiSpot who partnered with me on this build and serendipitously reached out to me the same week I got the inquiry for this commission. Many projects start with glue ups, so I wanna show you a no-think method for getting perfectly flat panels using a jointer. Start by writing I's and O's on each of your glue joints. I stands for inside, which you face towards the fence, and O stands for outside, which you face away from the fence. Now, even if your jointer fence isn't perfectly square, you're effectively canceling out any discrepancies by alternating your boards as you run them through. I wanted to thank my client for coming to my shop to help me out and also giving me the motivation to finally finish signing up for general liability insurance. I initially thought all these angles and curves were going to be a headache, but I decided to trust my hand and eye, so I just put my track saw where it looked good, freehanded the curves, and cleaned things up with hand tools. When it came time to cut all the angles for the wooden shelf supports, I again worried that I would struggle to dial the angles in. But the T-bevel came to the rescue and it was surprisingly easy to sneak up on all the angles. Shout out to Whitworks who recommended to sand down a set of dominoes and write L's for loose on them to make dry fits so much easier. Now I needed to figure out how to add metal shelf supports to the desk, which I did not know how to do. Inevitably, when I show a cool concept to a client that I don't know how to build, they pick it. So I bought myself a new blade, closed my eyes, and started cutting. I'm still picking metal shavings out of my apron.
After some vigorous YouTubing, I found this guy who polished his dirt bike to a mirror shine. And much to my surprise, after a few grits of sandpaper and a $3 can of Mother's Metal Polish, I had beautiful glimmering hunks of metal. Now let's attach these columns to the shelf. It was about this time in the project when I needed to assemble the base of the desk to figure out how it would seamlessly integrate with the piano tray that I needed to build next. Flexispot one of my thoughts on their E7 Pro desk and C7 chair. As a very opinionated product designer, I told them I was glad to share what I liked and longed for about their products. The first thing I liked was this little multi-tool. Took note of that for my own deliveries. By the way, do not put it together on a table and try and flip it by yourself. This got awkward. <sighs> After I got it wired up, I, of course, immediately saw if it could lift me. Even with the full desk and piano on it, the motors could handle my weight. And lastly, here's the very scientific butt wiggle racking test, which it passed. For the chair review, I committed to using the chair for the full week I edited this video and it was up against some steep competition because I normally use an Aeron, which is almost 10 times as expensive. Considering that, I'd say the C7 punches above its weight class. It's surprisingly adjustable with a unique lumbar feature, but I'd like to be able to adjust the armrests farther down and back to make it tuck under a wider range of desk styles. Also, I noticed they have an option for a mesh bottom, which I would recommend for added breathability. Before I cut anything related to the piano tray, I wanted to see the physical product and ensure the manufacturer's dimensions I base my designs on were accurate. My goal was to have the lowest profile drawer possible to allow for maximum leg space under the desk. Feeling relieved, I quickly assembled some of the tray parts I had been working on. I wanted to hide the drawer slides in their closed position, so I mounted the hardware within a recess in the wood. Aligning drawer slides can be tricky business, but I used double stick tape to temporarily hold the mating metal component in place while I transferred the screw locations. This resulted in an easy to achieve perfect 1 16th reveal.
I went from riding high to totally disappointed when the hold open drawer slides didn't secure the tray enough. Since wiggly keyboards are the biggest complaint about similar music desks, I needed to find a solve. My first attempt was a ball catch that helped with tray alignment but only improved steadiness by about 5%. My next solution involved drilling through the entire assembly, adding helicoil inserts for long-lasting threads, and knurled thumb screws that lock the tray in place. This is the smallest detail on the desk, but the one I am most proud of. No wiggly keyboard here, just pure musical expression. I could finally unclench my butt cheeks and wrap this build up. I don't often pre-finish before assembly, but it was pretty sweet going from glue up to photo shoot in the same day. If you're looking for a standing desk or a chair, I've got links to the products I used in this video in the description below, along with a link to my plans if you'd like to build a desk like this for yourself. Visit my contact page if you'd like to commission a custom piece from me, and subscribe if you want to see my next build video, which is different than anything I've ever built. It's a mobile beverage cart that my client plans to take to Indian weddings to serve fresh chai tea. See you in the next one.